Hi, Sharon Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com and Online Beginning Art School. And I'm here this week to talk to you about um, synthetic flat brushes. Now, there are two, well, there's a lot of kinds, but um, I, have, I have three different kinds in my hand right now. These are rosemary uh, brushes, and these are excellent, excellent. I can't stress the word excellent enough, but I'm not sure that a beginner needs a rosemary brush. But they will last you forever and they are very very good so you can go online at rosemary.com um, and uh, rosemaryandcompany.com uh, look up rosemary brushes and, and look for the ones depending on wh what you paint with if you paint with acrylics like I do then you want to look at some acrylic brushes um, but these are synthetic flats and they are fabulous and I love them this is also a synthetic flat uh, this is a dynasty a gold dynasty brush uh, and this is a number two as in the bristle brushes the bigger the number the wider the brush so a 12 would be you know like an inch uh, a 10 would be somewhat smaller um, and and right on down to a two uh, and so and then i have and i love these brushes these are um Royal Soft Grip SG700 is what it's, it says there. And this is a three quarter inch, and this is an inch and a quarter. I've, I've used it so much I can't really tell. <laughs> I've kind of wiped it off there. But anyway, this, and these are short handle brushes. I would love these even more if they were long handle, but they're not. Um, and I like a long handled brush because a painting is meant to be viewed at six feet. And so you're working up here like this and things don't look right. So you need to get back. With a long brush, you can be way back and still get the paint where you want it to be. With a shorter brush, you can't really do that. But these are great brushes. I, I know I didn't pay more than three or four dollars for any, I got three of them three different sizes and I know I didn't pay any more than three or four dollars and they are um, I have to look on this one <laughs> uh, Royal Soft Grip SG 700 and they're just different sizes in that uh, series of brushes and as always with the um, video I did last week on the um, uh, natural bristles I'm not saying you need to buy uh, the most expensive you don't I'm not telling you to go out and buy rosemary brushes. What I'm saying is don't buy the cheapest brush in the store. Um, you can buy some decent um, synthetic flat brushes in a pack, uh, but you have to be careful about which pack. Don't buy the cheapest one. It should be somewhere in the neighborhood of $15 um, dollars or so for six or eight brushes. And for a beginner, that's a good place to start. Um, now, I, on a good brush like these Dynasty Gold, again, if you, had, if you bought four sizes, let's say you bought a 12 and a 10 and an 8 uh, and a 6, or a, let's go down to a 4, um, they come in uh, even numbers. Um, if you got four of those, I would expect you to pay a, about 20 to $25 for those four. Rosemary brushes may be, um, you know, I just really don't remember, but it seems like they were, they, they, I mean, they weren't like an arm or leg. I didn't have to take out a loan, <laughs> but they were uh, 10, 12, $14 a, a brush. But they are so well made. They are so um, smooth and easy to use, and, and I'm gonna have them forever. Um, I take really good care of my brushes. At the end of every painting session, I never leave them sit in the water. Uh, because I have three rules of brush care. The ferrule is put on to the handle with glue. If you leave it sit in the water, the water's gonna get in there, it's gonna loosen that glue pretty soon. This piece, I don't care how much you pay for it, this piece is gonna come loose from the handle. Uh, you never leave it sit in the paint because acrylic paint dries really quick and it, um, uh, your bristles will dry and, th and then it'll be really hard to get that out of there. The other thing you don't do is you don't get paint on the ferrule because again it's acrylic paint it gets down in there it dries and it splays your bristles out and now you have a uh, pretty expensive ruined brush so, so you know, if you'll take care of your brushes uh, uh, they'll last uh, I have brushes 
that I use almost every day that I bought 20 years ago. And at the end of a painting session, when I'm, I'm out here in the studio, so when I go into the house, I take my dirty brushes with me and I wash them. And all I do is use Dawn dishwashing liquid. I know people will have a cow, but that's what I use. And that's what I've been using for 20 years. <laughs> I bought expensive brush cleaner soap. Uh, I don't see any difference. I've had expensive brush uh, cleaning bars. I don't see any difference. Um, when I'm done with my uh, cleaning out my brush, I take it between my fingers, I squish out the water, I lay it down flat on a uh, several paper towels, let them dry that way. I would store them, I could dry them in a holder standing up. You never put them br bristle side down. Uh, that's the fastest, best, quickest way to ruin a brush. So anyway, for today we've talked about flat synthetic flat brushes so i hope that you've learned something i hope when you go to the uh, big box store now you'll you'll feel a little more confident when you go in and say i need to buy some synthetic flat brushes and i would like a size 12 and maybe a size 10 and then maybe a six and a two uh, might maybe leave that eight out because uh, you only need you know three or four and you don't need to go whole hog on them but you do need about four uh, synthetic flats and three to four uh, natural bristle brushes. So thank you so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post every Friday. And if you are a person who has always wanted to learn to draw or paint, but life got in the way, it happens, you know. Join my uh, free Facebook group. Go to Facebook, then click on groups, then type in bucket list artists and my Facebook group will come up. I go live in there on Thursdays. Um, I usually put in tips and hints and tricks and uh, we're trying to uh, get a community there uh, of people who are just like you, who have always wanted to learn to do this, but life got in that way there and now we're kind of afraid. And we're gonna try to help um, the learning curve and to get rid of some of that fear. So thank you so much. Again, my name is Sharon Graves painting with acrylics 101.com let's paint together real soon <laughs>